removing sanctions is much harder than getting them placed on anything. Uh, getting them placed is a simple signing of a piece of paper. Getting them removed, however, is a process uh, which involves uh, the United States Congress, uh, not only the United States government. And uh, that process has been in place now for some time that preceded uh, the actual seizure of the vessel by the port manager and the port authority taking possession of it. Uh, discussions are being held over the last few weeks, both with the United States State Department and the United States Treasury and the office which is, con which is concerned with uh, imposing and maintaining the sanctions on the ship. Now, um, these, this process could not be advanced until Antigua actually took possession of the ship because up until uh, the Antigua Port Authority took possession of the ship, the ship was still the property as far as the United States is concerned of Andrei Grigorgovich uh, Yurev, uh, who is a sanctioned person uh, under United States law, and so is all his property. So until the Antigua government and the Port Authority took possession of the ship, that ship was still very much the property of, uh, of Yurev as far as the United States uh, Treasury Department is concerned. Now, <clears throat> the process we have to go through is to get the United States to delist the Alpha Nero from its sanctions list, and that is the process in which we are now involved. Uh, we have retained a U.S. attorney with great experience in these matters. Uh, for the record, uh, his name is Paul Reichler, and uh, he has already drafted what the, is euphemistically called a... Uh, a, a a request for reconsideration. That request for reconsideration is for OFAC uh, of the U.S. Treasury Department to reconsider uh, the classification of Alpha Nero as a sanctioned uh, vessel. So that document has been prepared. It has been sent to Antigua for review by the Attorney General's chambers. And as soon as that process is finished, which uh, we do not expect to take very long, uh, the document will be submitted to the United States Treasury Department. This afternoon at uh, 4 o'clock, uh, uh, Paul Reichler, the U.S. Attorney, and I had a very long conversation uh, with members of the Treasury Department on the administrative and timing processes that are involved in all of this. So we've uh, set the, use the nautical example again, we've set, we've pulled up the sail, they are, Ship is sailing. 